Hello friends, welcome to my channel MGS Knowledge Hub. I am Janasri, your uh, guidance mentor for your CACS examinations and uh, we are aware that the Institute of Company Secretaries of India has come out with the new uh, method of uh, entrance into the CS course. That is CS Executive Entrance Test which you need to clear it so that you can enter into the CS course and then move to your executive level, right? So in the previous videos, uh, if you have not seen uh, regarding the CS EET uh, description and all those things, I have given the description, sorry, the link in the description box below so you, you can check out that video so to get a good understanding. And uh, today in this video, we are going to see uh, a brief about the prospectus issued in this regard by the ICSI and also the syllabus which is need to be covered for the CSEET examination. Okay, so without much delay, let's get started. So friends, we know that this uh, new amendments regarding the CS executive entrance test has been uh, applicable from 3rd February 2020, right? So we, uh, the thing here is that now the CS foundation is not in, in uh, existence. So only those students who have registered before 3rd February 2020 to the CS foundation course can give the CS foundation examination. But from now, who wants to uh, enter into the CS uh, course must give the CS EET test, right? Then. So here uh, the institute till now was, didn't give any specific syllabus thing. Now it came up with the uh, notification saying what is the syllabus and even the prospectus covers it. So we, but we are aware that the examination is of four papers and uh, it will be conducted in an online mode of examination, computer based examination. It is of 200 marks, right? So let us see what is the syllabus. The syllabus first thing paper one is business communication for 50 marks. Paper two is legal aptitude and logical reasoning for 50 marks. Paper three economic and business environment 50 marks. And paper four current affairs presentation and communication skills is why your voice it is 50 marks, right? And here we need to remember that there's no negative marking for the CS EET test, it was very good point for us, and it also has viva means voice based test also, and it is for 30 marks there, okay? And uh, 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 friends, I really request you to once go back to my channel and see the uh, first video regarding the CS EET where you'll be knowing eligibility conditions, exemptions, and all those things there. But let's have a brief view here. Here, the students who have passed their 10 plus 2 examination are eligible to appear. All graduates and postgraduates are also eligible to appear for the CS EET test, and also. Uh, the people who have cleared their CA final and the CMF final are also, um, sorry, uh, these people who have cleared the final have, can claim their exemption, but who have cleared only the intermediate or inter thing, they can give the CSEET test. Only the students who have passed their final examination of ICAI and also the final exam of Institute of Cost Accountants of India, ICMAI, they can pay the additional fees of 5000 and, and claim exemption from this CSEET test and go to the CSE executive directly. Okay, and here, uh, what is the pattern of the exam? Pattern of the exam is completely objective type and computer based examination, multiple choice questions, and it is totally 120 minutes for this uh, choose the cut answers with four options and 15 minutes for the presentation communication skills. Right. So, how are the marks divided? The computer based examination of uh, uh, multiple test questions is of 120 minutes and it will be conducted in separate test centers with for four papers. That is, one in one slot, in one shot, you will give four papers examination. Okay. So, first is business communication for uh, 50 marks, having 35 questions. Leaks at paper 2, legal aptitude and logical reasoning for 35 questions of 50 marks. Environment, uh, sorry, economic and business environment. 35 questions of 50 marks and current affair 15 questions of 20 marks so totally you'll be having 170 marks paper in 120 minutes and then uh, 15 the balance 30 marks the total exam is for 200 marks right so balance 30 marks will be for the presentation communication skills the voice by by voice and uh, total uh, will be con marks 200 will be considered for the examination okay and you'll be even having uh, uh, the questions uh, with uh, some video presentation some audio clips also and how much you need to score you must get 40 percent of marks in each paper and 50 percent marks aggregate means if you see here this 50 marks per paper so 15 to 40 percent 20 marks in each paper and 200 into 50 percent 100 in aggregate to qualify for the CSEET examination right that's fine. Then when will be the examination held in the month of May? The examination will be on the Saturday which is closest to the 10th of May and the results will be by 20th of May and the, uh, when you need to register for this May exam between 21st of January to 15th of April. This schedule has been discussed in the last video so please go back to that video where the detailed schedule has been discussed there. 
because this video is completely for the syllabus thing i am not going to focus on that and the registration fee is of 1000 rupees for any time you are going to appear for this examination so if you are applying for the may pay 1000 and write in case if you are unable to clear if you want to write again in july pay again 1000 and write the examination right okay and there are certain exemptions for few category of people like sc st physically handicapped and uh, for widows of uh, defense people or other people there are certain exemptions there accordingly they can claim their fee concessions for writing the examination okay then how is the marks allocated we have just seen that each paper uh, like business communication legal aptitude and economic and business environment has 35 questions or 50 marks the marks are divided like 15 mcqs of two marks each and 20 mcqs of one mark each and this will cover the entire thing for 120 minutes even the current affairs also same thing like 5 mcqs of two marks each and 10 mcqs of one mark each so 120 mcqs of four papers for 170 marks the remaining 30 marks is for the presentation and communication skills so current affairs how do you do what should we do that see here we need to just keep in mind that these are everything a general type of papers where you need to have overall understanding and especially for the current affairs you need to be prepared for up to must be updated till one month before the exam for example you are giving the exam in the month of july so all the current affairs till the month of june you must keep you must bear in your mind so that you can go and prepare you can go and give in the examination then uh, and also friends there is uh, another video second video which is also the link is given description box which is explains about the registration process so i'm not covering up here this registration process is given in that video just it's a very small one you can just go through it okay now let us see in detail the paper uh, papers for the examination paper one business communication uh, this paper you can suppose now there's no particular material till released by the icsi uh, but i uh, strongly say that if you want to start preparing just go and download this foundation cs foundation exam pdf available in the icsi website it has this topic i think in the paper number two this good in english communication business communication is being there so you can take a help of that so just download a copy of that uh, pdf and start preparing so in this business communication they're going to focus on essentials of good english good english means you can have everything the grammar uh, sentences probes idioms this those things there and then they're going to focus on communication communication again here includes what is the meaning of communication what are the different types of communication what are the medium of communication what are the barriers to communications and then what are the effective listening skills required to communicate and then again business correspondence it has business letters messaging uh, the use of internet these days then essential elements of email like what are the email etiquette and those things and this all these things uh, for now you can refer the icsi cs foundation material as it's paper number two i guess you can go to that uh, pdf download it you'll find this contents there if any other further um, uh, notification comes from icsi i'll definitely share over the channel for the resources for preparing for examination then again you have common business terminology like uh, various definitions in law financial non-financial terms so this covers paper number one in paper two is legal aptitude and logical reasoning so legal aptitude has again two parts part a legal aptitude 25 marks and part b logical reasoning 25 marks so total 50 marks paper uh, logical reasoning friends you have a lot of uh, uh, resources available in the market like you see many banking preparation exam or uh, uh, government exams they will be having logical reasoning so you will get a lot of uh, information and uh, material for the paper for this paper you don't worry for that just google it off you will get a uh, lot of materials and explanation even youtube links also so what does legal aptitude has it has part a legal aptitude it has co indian constitution even this uh, indian constitution all these things also you can find from the paper number one of executive syllabus so just go to ICSI website, go to the student section where you will find the study material and then download the paper number 1 of CS Executive, you will have this there. We will have Indian constitution defining all the detailed Indian constitution stuff, then elements of general law, law of contract on those things, the law of torts, element of company secretary legislation, this regarding the company secretary's act and also what is the role of a company secretary, what are the functions of him, what is the vision, mission, motto of the institute and you can find a video in my channel regarding this uh, about the ICSI, you'll get a good idea of that and also what is the role of company secretary in employment. I share even that link in the description box, you can go through those videos also. Then also you can, you have to study the elements of company law, you'll get in that uh, paper itself and then legal reasoning legal reasoning is a bit uh, uh, will be quite new for the students but because you are entering into the cs course you must have a good idea of this okay then logical reasoning you have uh, different topics like calendars clocks derivative number test these don't worry about these things they are available on the net and you will have a lot of resources to help you for logical reasoning then you have verbal reasoning 
is a part of logical reasoning then non verbal reasoning which has analytical reasoning classification uh, grouping and different figures more this is some type of a mathematical stuff where you need to have a lot of analytical and calculation skills but the practice you'll get that no, no need to worry of that and then comes economic and business environment same you can go back to the cs foundation uh, pdf thing paper number three or four i guess i don't remember exactly you can download that pdf and start studying for this paper you have again part a economics part b business environment economics for 25 marks we have basis of demand and supply because it's the most important concept of economics demand and supply then we have concept of national income and indian union budget uh, in budget i strongly urge people to just go through the recent budget before you go to the examination then in financial markets even financial markets is uh, uh, on the overview you can get from the paper or, or you can even try uh, having an overview from the executive level book which is a there's executive there's a paper in executive level where you can study about the Indian financial markets, and uh, we have again in economy. This economy uh, friends, I just try suggest you to go to NCRT books of uh, 9th and 10th standards, or also even 10th and 12th. Uh, don't uh, go to these big books which is recommended for the civil service examination. Don't go to that. This all concepts will be covered in the NCRT book, so you can just uh, Google it off. You get a PDF of that. You can or you can even purchase it in Amazon somewhere. So Indian economy will be very easy, and also even the ICSI PDF also has the Indian economy overview. Then, but since we need to be current uh, updated in the terms of current affairs, you just go through this NCR book and also follow uh, the business newspaper. Then. Part B is business environment. This is very important because we are the uh, professionals going into help the business and make them understand so we must have an understanding regarding the business environment so you need to know the entrepreneur scenario then what are the how is the entrepreneurship in india then how is the business environment in the country then key governance institutes like sab rba iva you can just google it, uh, google it and you can just have a brief overview of how is the institute running so what is sabi who are the authorities what is the board structure what are they going to do they should try you can have a brief overview of all these things and then finally fourth paper is current affairs presentation and communication skills here part a is current affairs current affairs generally when we see we'll be good scared they because it's a huge vast topic no need to do that just go through this given the prospectus like you need to have an understanding of the international bodies then uh, indian organizations conferences then uh, current affairs which are relating to the professional institutes like cs CA, what are the decisions taken by them? Then uh, other current affairs which will refer related to environment. Uh, you can just pick up one good current affairs magazine which is uh, being used for any government exam preparations, which is of a national covers all the national news. Like uh, you have uh, Pratyogita Darpan, and uh, even Arihant also produces good books regarding uh, current affairs. You have uh, Upakar Prakashan, Upakar, Upakar uh, yeah, Upakar, you know, Upakar also one of the good uh, publication. So you get your, you go to a st examination uh, magazine stall. You get many books of current affairs. Pick up one and just try to cover it off there. When there are many YouTube videos where they'll be re rehearsing the every week or monthly current affairs. So not worry on them. Just you need to have more idea regarding these first uh, five things because these generally won't be covered by those uh, current affairs stuff. Then uh, again, you need to cover. For the presentation communication skill, we need to have listening skill, writing skill, and oral communication skill. These skills will be covered even in the business communication stuff. So you need to again revise here. So you need to uh, improve your listening skills because examination has many audio and video clips. Written communication skills like short note, essay writing, precise writing. Precise writing means converting a big para into small one with meaningful information. And sorry, and oral communication skills. So these you need to. Improve for 30 marks of Viva Voice examination, which will cover your 200 marks paper. It sometimes looks scary by seeing this paper, but no, it is really uh, enjoying thing. Just you need to have a grip on what you're studying, make small notes, and uh, keep on revising. So as and when ICSA comes up with any reference material, I will do update on my channel. And uh, friends, just be positive. Download this material and uh, start preparing. So if please share this video and if you are new to my channel kindly subscribe to it and also share this video to your friends who are preparing for the CSE test so they have a good idea of the syllabus and then are preparing accordingly. So hope you have enjoyed this video and uh, uh, see you with another new video in a short time. Till then keep studying take care.